All right, today we are talking about jog wheels. So when you guys first start the app, you're gonna be in classic mode. So technically, this isn't really a jog wheel. It's more of a emulation of an actual record deck, but it does the same thing as a jog as a jog wheel in the sense that if you move it forward, you move the track forward, you could stretch, you move it back, you can move your track backwards. So this is where you're gonna find the largest jog wheel in the app is in classic mode. So if you're planning on doing scratching and turntable techniques on your iPad, you might wanna stay in classic mode. A little hidden feature that's kinda of cool is if you move this arm, it'll actually move to different parts of the song, just like with a real turntable and mixer. So if you go all the way in, you'll be towards the end of the song. And then if you go all the way out, you'll be at the beginning of the song. And another hidden feature is if you press this button down here, I'm using a Bluetooth mouse so you can see where I'm actually pointing so you don't just hear me say over here and over there. So down here, if you press this button, It'll start the track really slowly, just like if you were starting a real record deck and it had to build oh, yeah. RPMs. And then also if the track is playing and you press the button, it'll slowly turn off. This is great for doing like a large BPM to small BPM transition. All right, so moving right along, that is the job wheel in the classic mode. But where things get really interesting is when we go into pro mode. So DJ Pro is separated with these different screens up here. This way you could see everything that you're doing because iPads are obviously smaller than laptops or PCs. So we're going to go over to pro mode. Now pro mode is is the most serato is serato like and most virtual DJ and record box like part of the app. You have these horizontal waveforms and then up here are our jog wheels in the version 4 update we got a huge update with the jog wheels and we get so much more information so right here if there's no record on the deck you can see on the left it's just going to have the dj logo and then now if we load up a track it is going to have in some information so the first one is going to be the bpm so this song is originally 100 BPM, so up here it says 0%. But if we raise the BPM, it shows us the percent of how much the BPM is up or how much the BPM is down. It's just great to have more information and have this information available to you. Yeah, we can see the BPM down here next to, next to the sync button and we can adjust it. But just having it right there in the jog wheel and then having this still be an active jog wheel is just awesome. So this jog wheel... Although it's smaller than the one in classic mode, you could still scratch very well anywhere on the surface area all the way out to the end is going to act like a jog wheel, just like a platter on a controller. So we could scratch, we could nudge, we could do whatever we need to do with the jog wheel. And then down here is going to be how much of the track we played. So we played zero, this is the beginning of the track, and then there's 21 seconds left. And as the track goes, you'll get that information. It's really good information to have because you don't want a song to end and there not be another song on the other side, and that's how you make a classic DJ mistake called a tomato when there's no music and everyone's just looking at you like, what the hell is this guy doing? All right, so I'm gonna show you how to change these jog wheels in a second. But first, I want to show you something really cool that is a kind of hidden feature, and that is you could get rid of the jog wheels. So people that use Tractor and other DJ softwares that aren't really jog wheel focused might like this feature. So it's really hidden. So you see here on the top left, there's a one with a down arrow, and then on the two, there's a two with the down arrow. If we press this down arrow, we're going to get a secret menu. And then we could adjust the waveforms. We could put on slice, we could put on slip. But the interesting one is, see where it says jog wheel? We could actually, boom, turn it off. So now there's no jog wheel, and all we get oh, yeah. is a big oh, view yeah. of the waveforms. So you might be asking yourself, Justin, how, how am I going to scratch? How am I going to adjust the waveforms if there's no jog wheel? And it's very simple. 
you could use the actual waveform as a job wheel. So this whole thing could be your job wheel. You could scratch like that, you could adjust the song, and you could do the same things that you would do with a job wheel, but instead of spinning it forward or back, you're going to be just moving the waveforms left to right. So I wouldn't suggest leaving this because I think it's necessary to have a jog wheel. But if you guys like to see the waveforms in a bigger view, then this is great for you. All right, now let's just turn those off. So again, it's a hidden drop down menu right here by the one or by the two. I'll show you with the two. Drop it down and then jog wheel is on. All right, so now let's go over to our settings and see how we could adjust these jog wheels. We're going to press the middle button over here. And then we are going to go down to settings. So middle button and then right here under one deck, right next to this Shazam symbol, we are going to go to settings. So I made a lot of video explaining what all these settings do, but right now we're going to go all the way down to the third to last one where it says appearance. All right, so now up here's our cue points and then down here it says job wheels. So currently we have three options. Uh, maybe in the future we might get something new, but right now we got these three options. Number one is Compact Dark, which I'm pretty sure is the one that comes, that the app starts with if you have it updated. Then the next one is Compact Light. The exact same thing, but instead of the middle being dark, now it's light. This will help you if you're DJing outside, DJing in the sun, and you just want to have more contrast and be able to see the jog wheel better, then this setting is for you. It looks really cool, and it's really easy to see. It's easy on the eyes, and it's very helpful. I wouldn't recommend the dark mode because it's kind of hard to see. It kind of blends into the background. All right, next we are going to go to extended. This is the one that I keep it in. I just believe that having more surface area on the jog wheel is just an all around a good thing. So let's just recap. Dark mode is what you'll start with. Compact light is going to be the same thing, just a little bit brighter. Uh, the middle is white. And the next one is extended. So we get some more information. And we get a bigger jog wheel. So with this jog wheel, it's still smaller than the one in classic mode. But it does provide more surface area. And as the track goes towards the end, the jog wheel will fill in. So watch this left. You see the white line on the jog wheel? As we go through the track, it's kind of like a loading bar. And when the track is done, the black will, the white will all turn to black. And then you know the song is done. So let me know in the comments if you have any specific questions about the jog wheels. Also, if you have any other questions regarding DJ Pro AI and DJing with, DJing with the iPad, I would be glad to help you guys out. And give this video a like if you found value and subscribe to the channel for awesome DJing videos several times a week. Thank you.